Hey everybody, this is Tris10. I'm going to give you a demo of basically our features, where everything is, how we do things. So if you're a new member and you, you're jumping right in, this is going to basically explain everything you need to know how to basically take part in LG. Uh, we're going to show off some of our features, how to best utilize them. Right here I've got a actual screen of my iPhone. This is my actual iPhone that I'm just kind of uh, streaming out for this video so you can see kind of in sync how everything works. So, the uh, first question we always get about the mobile app is where it is. How do I download it? There's links right here, right on the front page on the side there. we got Android and iPhone, so if you want to download it, uh, there you can. Okay, so this for this demo, it's, everything's going to be basically for in done in the LGHL, which is the League Gaming Hockey League. That's kind of like our main league right now. This demo assumes you've already signed up for the league. If you haven't signed up, you'll probably see a green button right in between here. It says sign up. We have a fully automated system when you sign up. It says what position you can you play. Uh, for, for this season, season 16 in the LGHL, when you sign up, it'll automatically uh, figure out what team you should be on. You'll get instant access to forms, icons, stuff like that. You'll be literally ready to go in a second. There's, there's no actual manual input that has to be done. So... So the first thing to know about the way we run our leagues is everything is in one spot. So in this case, the LGHL, I'm going to click on that form. In this form, you've got everything. You've got news, you've got stats, you've got schedules, you've got information, player stats, awards, history, videos. Everything is in one place. So that's on this form. So the, the first question we usually get about this site is how do I sign up for games? What's the system? How do I know if I'm in? We have a very automated system. It's pretty easy. I'm going to show you how to do it. So I'm going to click on the form, and this is the Toronto Maple Leafs form. I'm in on the Maple Leafs. Uh, quick features, you have a team chat, upcoming schedule, uh, player roster, I'll, I'll show that in a minute. Team chat is a, basically a private chat for your entire team. You know, if it actually links to your phone, so if uh, somebody posts on there, it's actually going to show up, be a push notification to your phone like I have over here. So to sign up, every week you're going to see the sign up threads in your actual form. Uh, it's this automated system. We divide everything up by weeks. So basically, just look for these sign-up threads. So easy to find. They're automatically stickied. In this case, we have the Toronto Maple Leafs preseason week one sign-up. So uh, I'm just going to take myself out of the last demo I did here. So the way it works is you're going to see these, uh, this thread. It's going to break it down by game. Here's this game, that game and then it shows positions. These are interactive buttons. If you want to sign up, you click the button. So the way our system works is uh, users are expected to post their availability, and by that we mean if you can play in this game, tell us where which position you can play in. You'll be signed up as yellow. Then when the owners are coming are through to actually finalize their lineups, they're going to confirm people. People that are confirmed are green. So yellow means they can play, green means confirmed by the management. Very, very basic, easy to use system. That works very efficiently. So I'm just going to get this set up. So I'm going to show what happens. So people always want to know, how do I know if I'm signed up for a game? Again, if you have the mobile app installed, even on the site, it's extremely easy. So I'm going to sign myself up. So there, that's that's how you sign yourself up. Just click those buttons. It'll be yellow. Now, when the, when the management comes through and confirms you, I'll show you what happens to know that you're in a game. So I'm going to go ahead and confirm myself by clicking it. And boom. So this was actually pushed to my phone right there. You have been confirmed to play goalie on Tuesday, October 1st at 10 p.m. So you get a push notification right to your phone the instant you're, you're assigned to a game. And also we have uh, the LG notification system. So even if you don't have the mobile app, we have this system. Anything that happens with your account shows up here. LGHL, you've been confirmed to play goalie. So when you get when you get confirmed for a game, if you have the mobile app, you'll get this. And if you don't, you'll also see this as well. But really no excuse to do it. Another cool thing about uh, how we do games. So let me just launch this mobile app. It's going to ask you for your same login as password to the site. Boom, LA Ducks versus uh, Toronto Maple Leafs saved a calendar. So the very cool thing about this system is any game that you are confirmed for is going to show up in your calendar. So if I click today, there's the game. And it'll actually remind you two hours. I don't know if you can see that right there. Alert two hours before the game. Your phone will let you know that you're scheduled for a game. You know, So an iPhone, you can see when you look at your schedule. Well, this is what you got to do today. Well, first thing on your calendar today is your game at 10 p.m. So you sign up for a game. You get confirmed for a game. It'll basically do everything it can to make sure you're aware. If you have the mobile app, it's going to synchronize everything for you. It's going to remind you. It's going to be in your calendar. It's going to push notification to you. So that's our sign-up system. Very easy and uh, very efficient, I think, and you know a good way to make sure people people you know make their games and whatnot. So that is our system. So another, uh, I want to show you real quickly on the mobile app. 
So in here also, if you want to sign up for a game, so the same thing I just did right there. Let me just take myself out so I can show you how to sign up again. But you can see right here it says position goalie. So if you're signed up for a game, you'll actually see yourself right there. Let me just knock myself out of this game. I'm out. I'm fresh. So it doesn't realize I'm in the game anymore like it should. See, I'm not in there. So if you want to sign up for a game, so look, oh, here's all the games we have this week. I'm going to click on this one. Oh, I want to sign up. I'm going to sign up. Click these little buttons, and you're signed up, and then the owner can confirm you. So sign up from the site, sign up from the app. It's all the same. So in the mobile app, uh, I'm going to show you. It's kind of cool. It links to the site the same way everything else links to the site. We have uh, private messages. Uh, you can actually go to the LGHO forum, the same LG notifications you saw on the site, chat. So you can see right there, we got people talking. Tris, am I around? I'm always around. Uh, what's up? post and anybody that posts gets that little icon right there which is kind of cool so anybody that posts on the mobile app will get that icon and you can see you can completely link into the site together uh, another really cool thing I'm going to show you the private messages is one thing that's really really cool if you're you know you're not around the site I'm just gonna send myself a private message from another account if it lets me just gotta log in real quick one second. Okay, I'm just going to send myself a private message. Just going to show you the screen so you can see how it pops up. So this message is going to me. Boom! You just got a new private message. So if you click on it, it's going to launch the app and automatically take you to the private message. And so you can actually fully mobile, fully use the site either on the, either use the site from uh, the website or the mobile app. So here's a private message I just got. You can fully respond. How about those leaves? Send message. It's going to actually say sending there. And there you go. So the app is completely mo uh, works for both website and mobile. So, so I, uh, I'm just going to show you some other quick features of how we do stuff right here. Get done. So you saw, so you, uh, you saw the, uh, other features for the mobile app. Just real quick, I'm just going to go through them. Click on the league on the top right there. You, know, you got your teams, my score, stats, rosters, news, standings, live scoring, Toronto Maple Leafs form. So just your basic stuff. So let's just go back. I'm gonna close this now. Uh, on the actual form site, any game uh, that's within 24 hours, it will show up right here. Simply click it. You can see schedules. Green means confirmed. We'll have breakdowns by actual. So you can see your offensive breakdown. These are confirmed people. As this, this is preseason, that's actually the first day of preseason. But you'll see the records, you know, of the people you're you're seeing. It'll actually use the power ranking system to see overall who's favored, maybe who has the best offense, maybe who has the best defense at goalie, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, one thing Ozzy wants to make sure everybody knows: we have our rule book right here, disciplinary reactions, just stuff, you know, ba the basic rules, information for the site, uh, standings, and it's going to switch to my dev site real quick. Standings, pretty, pretty basic, pretty standard stuff. You can break down by preseason, regular season, you know, points, goals for, records, last ten. We get the playoff race. You can see the Rangers and and Ottawa Senators. They were seeded first. That's why they have the star there. Playoffs. We have a, a fully assist, a full system for playoffs. You can see them as they progress. We have break uh, week, uh, sorry, uh, matchup breakdowns. You can see how this matchup went. Obviously, the Rangers won it in four. You can click on the games to get all that information. You can see uh, in that uh, series uh, who was good, who was hot. This, this person right here had 13 points, 7 goals, 6 assists. Uh, roster. Here's the entire roster of the league, which is pretty handy. These colors are the power rankings. So red means they're on fire. They're, they're really hot. Uh, obviously, blue doesn't mean very uh, Another cool thing I want to show you is the uh, detail on the players. It's gonna the, the player cards, we call this. So if you click on a player, you're going to get everything about that player. First of all, you can see the name, here's the gamer tag, how many seasons, there's stats. We break everything down by seasons. So in this season, this person got two awards. They made it to the conference finals. Also awarded player of the week. Uh, news, this is just the news about the player. Plays with, we have, uh, we try to, we actually look at who people play with and try to figure out, you know, who they, what they do with that person. For example, every time uh, Car Carly here plays with Rampage, they have an 83% winning percentage within 12 games here. When these two guys hook up, 66%. Here's the second common line he plays with, so. 
You can see this, this defense is pretty good with videos. Any videos a person's in will show up here. You click, click on it, it'll pop up, and then you can watch it. So everything, everything's all organized. Back to the stats, we break it down by season type and then by week. So playoffs, season 15, week 4, he wasn't very good. Week 2, he was pretty good. He was ranked 14 out of 82, and then week 1, he was on fire. And then here's the regular season. Here's week 8, week 7, week 6. So you can see in week 6, he was on fire. He went 3-0. and It's pretty good for a left defenseman. He actually had 2 points, which is pretty good, and he was a plus 5, which is probably really good for the league. But you can see breakdown every game. You can click on the games to see everything they've done. And then, of course, we show a season total. And then there's the next season. So your history will be fully logged here at League Gaming. Uh, we have the award system you can see right here as the player goes on. Uh, so that's the roster. Video, we have a video manager. You can upload videos, which are pretty cool. Uh, any video you have from a game, you can filter it by highlight or game. So if you say, by show me only the highlights, there's only the highlights. If you say, hey, show me all just the Toronto Maple Leaf videos, there's the Toronto Maple, Maple Leaf videos. Break it down by season. You can pretty much break it down any way you want. Uh, stats. So we have team stats. Again, you're, you're, it's more like what you saw with the standings, but you know, have you broken down? So if you want to say uh, who has the best power play, the Rangers were 80% power play, which is pretty ridiculous. Or sorry, that's winning percentage power play. They're 41. Sort any way you want. Team stats. Pretty pretty uh, standard stuff, but pretty in depth. Uh, member stats. I gotta go to preseason here. Here's the uh, member stats. You can sort by LG rank, how many games, you know, your standard stuff. And then you have your goalies down here who have the highest save percentage goals against average. If you wanted to quickly filter by it, you know, by somebody whose name starts with it or has a TR in it or has an X, which everybody has an X in it, you can quickly do that. Show 50 rows depending on, you know, what, you're, what it's returning based on your search. Pretty standard stuff. Uh, awards. I'm gonna sh uh, we, I'm going to show us on the live site, actually. Awards. We have awards that we'll give to players, and we'll, it'll be on their LG history forever. So in this case, Season 16, anybody who was a first-round pick, we gave them a special award. Here's the Season 15 Stanley Cup Champions Awards, uh, President's, Cup, yeah, President's Cup, and you can see Season 14, 13, etc., etc. So everything's fully logged and documented. Uh, another cool thing we have is player breakdown. So if you want to look at, uh, you know, you want to compare players against other players, Here's a pretty cool tool to do it. Simply select the user. I'm going to do this guy this versus this left wing. Uh, who's decent here? I, this guy versus Dirty Mike. Neighbors versus Smitty. And we hit breakdown. It's actually going to break down these lines. So 80 uh, games played. They've actually both played 80, which is dead even. These guys' winning percentage is 67, which is much better. They average 2.38 points per game versus 1.6. They score more goals. They get more assists. They have a way higher plus minus, uh, minus. These guys take more shots, though. These guys hit more. And then, obviously, the LG rank also comes in based on the power rankings. If you want to break down defensemen as well. Let's get this line going here. Caster, you know, caster's good. And there you go, you got a breakdown now. These guys played a lot more, but you know what? These guys have a higher, well, much higher winning percentage. Maybe it's this dude that's killing this, eh? No, well, let's change it a bit. And then, hey, you want to see which goalies are better here. Oops, goalies. And this guy has a much higher save percentage. Goals against average. This guy has a little higher goals against average, which is not as good. This guy gets way more shots per goal. Well, I'm sorry, just a little bit more shots per goal here, 13. And he has a better uh, LG rank overall based on the opponents that he faces. So let me talk about, just quickly about the uh, the ranking system, the power ranking system. So every week we monitor everybody's performances and we give them a ranking. We base that ranking on how they performed in that game and the level of uh, competition they played. So if you did really good as a forward, let's say, you're supposed to score. So if you had a good week but you played against crappy players, players you might not get as much of a reward where if, if you were playing against people your own skill or skilled higher and then from that we we basically figure out uh, we, we get a, a ranking system so here's this is actually a week eight click on a user you can see how we did throughout the season where is somebody this guy well, you can see every time you see this that means they were traded so you can see he was pretty high up there and then he got traded to the Maple Leafs and kind of struggled a bit Blackhawks and as soon as he left the Blackhawks he obviously got a lot better click on a players you can see this by team based on the color. So you can see the Chicago or Anaheim here had a bunch of red players. 
where it looks like Phoenix had a bunch of blue players. And then you can filter out by team. So I'm like, okay, who on Phoenix was that green guy? Well, this guy. So you can filter by team, change it by week. Hey, just show me only the goalies that week. Here's the goalies. and then So you can see everything that you need to see. Here's the biggest movers. This guy was ranked 12th this week, but last week he was ranked 286. Same with uh, the biggest drop. And we monitor things like average goals per game uh, based on every week. So you can kind of monitor trends. We also have that for teams as well. So week eight, the number one team was the Washington Capitals that went 6-1. and one. Boy, they were ranked 19th last week. And then if you click on the team, you'll get a nice little graph. And we also break it down by position. So you got who in week eight was the best offensively, defensively, and goaltending. So you can see the Capitals were basically number one almost in all three. But you can follow the teams as they go. Where's my Maple Leafs? Oof, Maple Leafs were basically, this is, this is actually worse. They were actually near the cellar. So uh, another cool feature, I'm just going to go back. We have news. Anything that happens with the site. Is, is fully documented. You want to see all the trades? Here's your trades. Show me the waiver wire. There's the waiver wire. Who was added to the league? Fully documented. Show me the headlines is a new section we have. So we have everything fully documented and ready for you. So one thing Ozzy wanted to, or another thing too, is my LG. If you click on that, that'll just take you right to your, your profile page. Another cool thing is your schedule for a game. Uh, any games you're scheduled for will show up on this page. So if you just click my LG to see what's going on with you, you'll see all that real quickly. If you wanted to add a, add a score, uh, you, you do that here. I have no games that are actually open that are available to be inputted. Add a video, the same concept. Enter the URL. It can be from YouTube, EA Sports, uh, Twitch, a whole bunch of other places. You select what game it's for, attach it, etc., etc. So that's basically LG in a nutshell. Uh, most of our features, how to use a sign-up system, how to use the mobile app correctly, as you can see right here. And uh, this is how we do things at LG. I hope this, this helped a lot of users, and I uh, hope you enjoy your uh, time at the site. Ciao.